What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to another Madden prediction. It's week five in the NFL, and the Dallas Cowboys are on the road again for another game, and they're taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Historic rivalry that we got going on here, Dak Prescott versus Justin Fields, and we're back in Pittsburgh, and we got the Dallas Cowboys who are 2-2, two and two, taking on the 3-1 and one Pittsburgh Steelers. This one's going to be a fun one, Sunday night, prime time, under the lights, can't wait to get into it but be sure to hit that like button and subscribe this one's gonna be a fun one let's go obviously no micah parsons and no demarcus lawrence so this is gonna be a tall task for this defense but i think we can get it done reverse here looks like it might be a fake and it is and just can't let that happen that's oh my gosh it's one of the big things, not having that edge with Demarcus Lawrence hurts on plays like that. And Mozzie Smith. Looks like it's another run here. Play action, and there we go, Tyrus Wheat. A name we haven't heard in a long time, but he's there. He gets the sack. It would be great to get off this field even shorthanded like this. And I think that's a pick. Malik Hooker. First drive of the game, gonna take this out of bounds. That's the user, the user, the user, the user. Malik Hooker. Justin Fields tried to fit this up on top. Tried to go all out on that play, but Malik Hooker was right there, and we get a pick on the opening drive of this game. Great job, 28. I was really hoping Zach Martin was going to go out there and get me a block here. But look, this is important. Get Dak Prescott on the rollout. Get him on the move. And there we go. Jake Ferguson. Oh, my gosh. He's out in the open. I tried to do a secure possession catch. He had a lot of room out in front of him. Second down and inches. You guys already know what we like to do here against All Mad. And third and second and inches. Take your shot downfield. See if we can get CeeDee Lamb here. He loves this route, and that's too easy. Inside the five, first down and goal for this Cowboys offense. Second down and goal. I'm going to go ahead and sneak Ferguson out here to the left on this blocking assignment. Hopefully no one comes up on that side. And he may be wide open. He is. Oh, and he's wide open. Ball has to go back, but it's a touchdown to Fergie. That was going to be a hard throw to go across the body off of the back foot, but Dak does it barely. Jake does a great job of coming back to the ball, getting that touchdown. Hit as he threw it, and Jake is able to run it in. Improbable touchdown, but we got it. Third down and five on the road. Sunday night football. If we can get back-to-back -back drives here where we hold them to no points, that will be big. I'm playing zone. And that's another pick. See Bell Carson with a second pick. And this might go all the way to the 10, to the 5. Another interception from Justin Fields. And that almost goes all the way for a pick six. Great jump on the ball for the rookie. Justin Fields just forces it again to the left into double coverage. Running it with Zeke, cutting it to the outside. Zeke is back in the end zone, and it's as easy as that. Two drives for them, two interceptions, and two touchdowns for us. We're starting off Sunday night pretty well right here. That's a great run from Zeke. Great speed to the outside. We're up 14-0. Big drive. You don't want them. You don't want to go down three touchdowns. But I'm bringing the blitz here because I'm gonna try to stop him here. And they're gonna get open right here. Oh man. I'm gonna bring that same one because it's second inches. If they follow my philosophy, they're gonna throw it here, take a shot. But they may just run it, get their first down. And that's exactly, oh my gosh. Great RPO from them. Oh my God, what is going on the field? And just try to keep it all in front of us. You don't, I don't want to give up a touchdown here. I don't want to make it 14 to 7. Just keep everyone up there. And yep, that's exactly what we do. We get the sack, no one to go to. Great play by Tyrus Wheat. It's that wheel route. It's that wheel route. I got Zeke right here, but it may be CeeDee Lamb right here. This looks like they're in man-to-man -man coverage. 
They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And there we go, CeeDee Lamb. Great job out in the open. Dak rolled out to the right, found 88, and he just found space right in front of him. See if we can attack the seam right here. I'm actually going to push Ferguson up. And then I'm going to bring Cooks on a curl route. Going to bring extra protection. Let's see if we got CD or Ferguson right here. And we got CD right there. Look at that pre-snap offense. <laughs> Let's go. Doing the work. Pre-snap. Seeing the offense. Finding the open man. Oh man, that's that's when football's exciting right there. Is when you can do it all before the snap. Touchdown. This is a perfect situation for the Cowboys. Starting out hot, and then they have to get out of their element, which is passing the ball. Which is running the ball. Now they have to pass the ball. I'm gonna play Diggs right here in the slot. Oh, I didn't get to him in time. Oh my god. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, he was wide open because because the cornerback fell down. I think it was Carson on the left side. Because I'll be honest, I took over, I took over Kendricks, and I thought I was gonna hit stick, and then it just moved me over to Carson, and I hit stick Carson, and he fell on the floor. And that, no matter what, Pickens was wide open. I'd probably say maybe I was a little bit too conservative on the back-to-back -back runs here. So let's go ahead and go. I'm going to go screen here. Rico Dowdle here to the left. This should get us this first down. We got the whole wall right in front of us. I mean, we had the whole wall of Dallas leading the way right there. That was too easy. Let's see. I got CD right here. That's going to be tough because he's not going across the chains. But I got Zeke in motion here. Let's see what we got. And we got Jalen Tolbert, and he gets the first down. That's a big third down conversion. Clock still running here. We got a little bit of motion here with Brandon Cooks. See who we got open here. Might just be Cooks, to be honest. Pressure might come right here. And I got Jalen Tolbert. No way! What a touchdown for Jalen Tolbert and a beauty of a pass from Dak to Jalen Tolbert. Are you kidding me? Perfectly delivered. Perfectly placed. Right there in the corner. And great hands. Great usage of the feet. Oh my God. Our offense is clicking, man. Every time we're out on the field, we are scoring. Defense is giving up 10 points, which I'm not mad about. But here they got 54 seconds, all three timeouts. Um, you definitely don't want to want to give them any kind of momentum going into the second half. So they're going to kill their first time out here. And, of course, we are not going to cut anything here. This is a full one-minute drive for the Pittsburgh Steelers going into the first half. Playing pretty conservative here because I don't, I don't want to give up anything big for them. Probably could have made a play there with Mukwamu, but, again, I don't want to, you know, miss it and then... It, it bite us, and the safety has to make a play. Then the safety misses a tackle. Just, you know, keep it all in front of us. They got one timeout left, 40 seconds left. They should go hurry up offense. They don't. Going man-to-man -man coverage right here. See if we can. Yep, great job. Osa gets the sack. I don't like my coverage. I'm going to take a timeout here. I was out there with three linebackers. I don't like that. Cover two man, third down and 11. Give them everything underneath, you know. Play action. We know they're not going to throw it. And, ooh, try to make the pick right there. Fourth and three, though. This is technically field goal range. So 24 seconds. I don't know where the wind is. And they're going to hit this, and it's wide left. And the Steelers miss. They get into field goal range, but they miss the kick. Just brutal. Now, Cowboys Nation, this is where we can, we can have a little bit of fun. 21 seconds left. We still got two of our timeouts. 
Let's see what we can cook up. And I got C.D. Lamb. Oh, man, I'm going to take that time Oh, boy, this is too easy. Too easy. Dak is on one tonight, 15 seconds. This would be brutal if we could get a touchdown here. They're bringing the blitz. You know not to do that against Dak because Brandon Cooks is going to waltz right in. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. This is it. We're talking about five touchdowns. Five touchdowns for for the Cowboys in the first half. I mean, the Steelers have not played well, but, man, we are killing them right now. They can't stop Dak. I mean, this is where I want to be here. I mean, taking up each down. Actually, look at it. Let, let's, throw, let's throw them up for a loop. I'm going to send Rico out. We got a lot of time, 10 seconds, and we should have Fergie right here, to be honest. Either Fergie or, or Cooks. Oh, God. They bring the blitz, but Dak delivers a dart to Jake Ferguson to move the chain. Second down to six. Now I, I do have to run this side, so I'm going to double-team TJ Watt here because Steele needs it, so hopefully Steele and Fergie can handle... TJ Watt on that side and look at that hole right there. Oh my gosh. Just opened up like this Red Sea with Moses. Uh, I don't want to do anything too crazy because it's 35 to 10. Let's do screen. Let's do screen. We've done a really good job at blocking on third and goal or uh, on the screens. But yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can get in the end zone on this one. If we don't, that's that's fine. Now, yeah. So no points there. I mean, we're going to walk away with the field goal, but I'm fine with that. Killed off nearly half the quarter, so. But just we've scored too quick once they gave the ball back, and the two interceptions does not help. Reminder, they they gave up two interceptions to start this game. Ooh, what a play. Open field tackle. Just got to contain right there. Great opening play. They should be able to. They should run it right here, and they do. Ooh, great open field right there. I mean, you know, it, it is 38-10, but you also don't want to be too conservative, you know? This definitely looks like a pass here. Ooh, and this is going deep. Oh, over show picks it off. No way. Oh, my God. DeMarvian Overshow on Najee Harris. Justin Fields goes deep and Overshow. Looks like Trayvon Diggs down there. Catching the ball over his shoulder. That's insane. That's the play of the game right there. Wow. What? Overshown can do anything. Hunter Lipke time right here. I mean, two yards is a stretch. So we'll see if we can get this one here. Move Schoonmaker in motion. See if we can get Lipke here. Yeah, that was tough. I don't think that was going to go. For the first punt of the game, I'm sorry, DeMarvin Overshone. We wasted your beautiful interception. But that's okay. We'll punt it here. Let the defense get back at it. The defense that has three interceptions on the day. Now, reminder, Steelers missed a field goal before the end of half. That led to a touchdown for us. Third down and three. That is caught. And a big play. Wow, that's going to send up up inside the five. This one's going to be a run here, so I'm going to bring everyone up here, man-to-man -man coverage. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, God, no. Going to give up the easy touch. That was a misread by me. Total misread by me. I thought it was going to be a run. It was a quick throw out there to Calvin Austin. And the Steelers get on the board here in the second half, 38-17. to 17. Second down and seven. And they're loading up that line right there. They're trying to stop us. So I'm going to run it to the right. We're going TJ Watt territory. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, Zeke is able to escape. Third down and seven, under seven minutes, at our own 42. Up in this game, 38 to 17. This looks like they're bringing a blitz. So could have Reek. Oh, no, no blitz. But I do have Jalen Tolbert right there out in the open that's too easy great pass protection from our offensive line third down and 12 five minutes left we've done a great job at keeping this 
clock running. So we're going to do a play action, see if we can get it going still. Oh, and CeeDee Lamb. Oh, 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 oh. TJ Watt was right in my face, and I delivered a dot to CeeDee Lamb down the field. Third down and eight. Coming up on three minutes remaining in this game. Maybe, let's see, probably should have ran it here. But let's see what C.D. Lamb can do. Let's see if C.D. Lamb can just sit in there, that little soft zone, give us the first down that we need. Not enough. It's a fourth and one. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go for it. Because why not? Because if we can, we can keep this clock rolling and just get out of here. Or maybe do a little fancy... I mean, I just don't know. Ooh, look at I mean, C.D. Lamb is by himself out there. I mean, I'm just going to take that, right? Like, I'm, I'm not just going to not take that. C.D. Lamb's by himself out there. I'm going to give him an open touchdown. I'm not going to run it with hit Lipke and not get you know, the, first, the touchdown or the first and goal. That's too easy, man. I mean... I didn't even know C.D. Lamb was out of love. I'm so glad I looked outside, but C.D. gets another touchdown, and we extend this lead. Second down and 10. That little dump off goes nowhere. And that's... Ooh, did I get the interception? Did Diggs get his toes in? Yes. The all-pro Pro Bowl shutdown corner, like we say here on the Unbiased and Realistic channel. That's a way to end the game. Booyah! Two feet down and four interceptions for Fields. One final play here in this contest. Two seconds left. See what they do. Do they just dump it off? They're just going to throw it out of bounds. It's not going to go anywhere. The Dallas Cowboys win this game on Sunday Night Football in this Madden prediction. 45-17. Defense shows out without Micah and the Tank. But Dak Prescott throws five touchdowns. CD gets two of them, and the Cowboys dominate. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys after the game for the post-game reaction video. Go Cowboys.